Welcome back to Kids Coding Code Around. Today we'll be doing a whack-a-mole game in Scratch. So I'm pretty sure you guys know a whack-a-mole game is. Like at the at the arcade they have these games where like you use a hammer and you try to like hit the moles or whatever. So yeah, we'll be making this in Scratch today. So let me demonstrate the game real quick. So basically you use a hammer, you hit it, you get the hits. Or if you miss, your hit your misses go up. So it's basically just an infinite game. You can add an end screen in Win screen if you want, or losing screen. Like if you, if you just like don't hit it, then you just miss. Yeah. So it's pretty much the game. It's pretty simple to do. Um, I'll be showing you guys also how to draw all of these sprites we have here, but we'll still link them in the description below. But we encourage you guys to just like try to draw them and stuff. So yeah. Okay. Let's create a new project. First, we will need the backdrop. So I'm gonna import the backdrop. From here. So we're gonna delete this. So I'm gonna show you what I did in the backdrop. So basically, we just uh, for the back for like the blue thing, we just took white, like a light blue color and a dark blue color, and we used this circle tool right here to make like that thing. And the color is 54, saturation is 13, brightness is 99. So it's basically just like uh, it has like a little color in the middle. You can. Uh, and the other color is color 54, saturate 95, and brightness 95. Um, you can use whatever color you want, but this is what we have. And for these circles, it is just basically an outline of five with white on the outer rim. And then it's just filled in with black, which is basically just duplicated them to make rows of them. So we just have like a few of them. And then right here we have the hits and misses. And um, it's just a shaded red circle. Uh, I mean, white circle, and this is another shaded white circle. So, and then we'll be putting, like, the score, like, the hits and misses into here. And the whack-a-mole thing is just, like, just with the text. And that's pretty much it, with handwriting uh, font. So, yeah. And then uh, we will be importing the hammer sprite. So, hammer sprite, um, this one's a bit, like, a little bit more difficult to draw. We have multiple costumes for it. So, uh, when you click, it'll hammer down. And so basically, right here we have like some, like like some like sh like shade, I guess. I don't know what to call this, like shine, I, I guess. Um. So yeah, this is on the hammer. This it's just like, so this is that color, seventeen, four, and thirty. And then right here we have another one. It's the same color. The ed edge, like the big part of the hammer, is like this. And then right here we have. Basically, we have like a darker yellow, and then we put a y lighter yellow on top of it with this part. Um, and then we have this dark gray and then a light gray on top. Okay, so now I'm going to be drawing it. So we're going to paint a new sprite. Alright. So first, we're going to get that color. That is the, like the back color. I'm going to change it. Okay, so we're going to be using the rectangle tool. We're going to use some outline as well. If you saw, we used a 10 outline. We're just going to draw a rectangle and then reshape it using the reshape tool. So we did 17, 18, and 15 for the... 17, 18, and 15... 8 and 15, sorry. Uh, So yeah, it's kind of like a dark gray, almost black color. And then we're going to use the reshape tool to kind of reshape it and make it a little bit bigger. Reshape. So we're going to make it look like a hammer now. Going to reshape it. Alright, so we got kind of shaped up a little. It's not... It's okay, looks okay. And then next we will be putting the, like, the shine or whatever on it. So next we will be using this color, 17, 4, and 30. Uh, we'll be using no outline for this one. So select no outline, and then just draw a rectangle and we will reshape it. It's the reshape tool. Like that. And then we can just uh, draw another one. 
or if you just duplicate it, yeah, we'll, we'll duplicate it. And then we'll, and then we will reshape this one a little bit more. Make it smaller. Yeah, okay, so that looks fine. And then next, we will get the handle of the handle. So then we'll be using a dark yellow no outline um, color, 1390.86 for the handle of the thing, the hammer. Oops. So now let's draw the hammer handle. Just draw a rectangle, connect it onto there. And then we'll get a lighter yellow color, like that color, I guess. And then draw a smaller rectangle and put that right there. Okay. So now we have a darker yellow uh, color, 1299.56. So we'll be no outline. We'll be drawing using the ellipse tools. Draw like a small oval, and put that right there. And then finally, we'll just use the same colors as this and the the two gray colors for the end end of the hammer. So let's get the, let's let's actually like increase the size, decrease the size a little bit to cover that little part. Make it a little bit more to the left, and then we'll group it, so then we can make it all together. And then move it to the back layer, so then it will be covering the top. We'll be using the same colors right here, so we'll just draw 17, 8, 15, same as before, with outline of 10. So this is the edge of the hammer. Decrease the size a little bit. Use this color, and we're going to draw the little rectangle. So our hammer is complete. Okay, so now we have our hammer. Okay, let's move it to the right a little bit. And shrink it. Okay. So now we have our hammer, basically, to make the different costumes, we just duplicate it, select it, and then move it to the side a little bit. Just use the rotate tool, and then and then move, move it to the side a little bit. See that? Move it again. And so I'm pretty sure you all get the idea, just keep on duplicating it, like five costumes, and you will make the hammer costumes to make it smash down. So yeah, that's pretty much it um, for drawing the hammer. So I'm going to delete it, and we'll get started on the coding. So for the cat, we're only going to need the head, obviously. So we're going to select this and just have the head, OK? We're also going to center the cat head right now. So we have the cat head centered. All right, let's get the hammer. OK, so now let's start coding. Let's go to the um, cat head. All right, so we're going to start coding in the cat. So we're going to need to make two new variables. Uh, we're going to make a variable called hits and another variable. We're going to name it misses. Misses, both for all sprites. And then we're going to make some lists. We're going to make uh, a list called x position and another list called y position. Y position and we're going to define the list. We're going to like add a bunch of stuff to the list, but first let's set some stuff up. So let me zoom in. When green flag is clicked, we are going to set the hits. And we're also going to set the misses to zero. And then we're going to go uh, add a bunch of stuff to the list. Okay. And then, so now we have to find the X and Y position of the head for each of these little black slots. So basically what you do is just move the head and you find the X and Y position. But since I already have all the X and Y position, you can just copy what I'm doing. So I'm just going to delete all of the list in the beginning. So we're going to delete all of the X position. So we're going to add a bunch of coordinates to the X position. So the X position is from this side to this side. 
So you look down here, you can see the x position. You can see, as you can see, if I drag it here, you can see it's negative 166. So we will set our, uh, add our first thing, negative 166. And then after that, we'll add another one. So you get the idea, we just keep on dragging the head to each slot. And then we just find the x positions. And then next one I got was negative 79. And then, as you can see, I move it, it's about, it's negative 79. The next one I move it is 3. So we're going to duplicate this again, and 3. And next one, about right here, we got 87. So we're going to do 87. And we have one more, move it about right here, 172. So, 172. And then we can just delete all of Y position in the beginning. We have to delete all of the other list. And then we're just going to duplicate all of this and put this under. Be sure to change all of this to Y position. So let's change it all to Y, 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 Y. And then we're going to have to also change all of these. And then, so now we're just going to find the Y position. So start from here. And since there's only four, we're going to have to delete one. So we find the first y position on the bottom to be neg uh, actually start from the top. It's more better. So first one's 86. 86. Next one we get is going to be 31. Right. 31. Next one is going to be negative 25. And next one is going to be negative 72. So yeah, now we have all the X and Y positions. And after this, we're going to broadcast a message. We're going to name it start game. Okay. Okay, so now we're after broadcasting start game, we're going to, when I receive start game, we're going to forever. And then we're going to set the X position, set X position, and then we're just going to get the item, item, and then we're going to pick random. So how many are here? We have five, so we're going to pick random one to five of X position, duplicate this, and then, oh, actually no, no, sorry, uh, we have to duplicate that, not this, set Y to item, pick random one to four of Y position. And then we're going to wait 0.8 seconds, so it's only going to stay at one spot for 0.8 seconds. Okay, next, let's go to the, uh, I'll, sh I'll show it. So, as you can see, the cat moves around. Yeah, so the cat moves around, so it looks pretty cool. Now let's get coding in the hammer. Okay, so inside the hammer first, we are going to get a one green flag clicked. We are going to... Zoom in. And if I click, we're going to switch the costume to costume one, which is the first costume. And then we're going to forever go to mouse pointer. So it's going to follow the mouse. Go to mouse pointer. And then next, when this sprite is clicked, so when you click on the sprite, it will switch costume to costume one. Switch costume to costume one. And then broadcast hammer cat. So it will hammer down on the cat. So hammer cat hammer cat and then we're going to repeat five times repeat five times next costume because there's five costumes from here there's six but we're only going to do five because there's five moving ones okay so we repeat five times next costume and we will do switch costume to costume one once it's done with the action and then next when i receive hammer cat inside the same sprite we are going to wait 0.1 seconds, and then we're going to if else. So basically, in the top we're going to check if it's touching the cat and if the costume number is greater than three. So it will count as hammering down because the last three one are it's like hammering down. So we're going to get an and. So and so we're going to get if touching cat, touching cats. Sprite one. Alright, so we're just gonna rename this to cat, I guess. That'll be easier to understand. And 
the costume number is greater than three. Costume number is greater than three. Then we will change the number of hits by one, else it will change the number of misses by one. So we can get these variables, double click on them, drag them in here, and double click on this one again. This one's misses, make sure. Yeah, so this is misses. Let's put that over there. Okay. And then after we get that, uh, we can add music. Last last step. One group of clicks with the sounds. Let's just get a random loop. A loop. Video game, I guess, whatever. Uh, forever. Play the sound. And we don't want it to be too loud. Oops, sorry. Not this one. This one's and then we're gonna set the volume to 25%. Okay. I think that's it. Let's play it. As you can see, it's had to run, hit. <clears throat> we can also make the hammer go to the front layer, so then we can uh, go on top of the cat. As you can see, it's not on the front layer, so it's easier to see if we hit the cat or not. So we're going to go with the hammer. We can do one group of clicks. Go to the front layer. Okay, there we go. So I miss. Miss the cat, it'll change the misses, as you can see. Hit the cat, and it'll change your hits. It's obviously not 100% accurate, but it's somewhat working. Alright. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Um, you guys can add, like, a end screen if you want, but, yeah. Like, you can have a certain amount of hits. Once you get a certain amount of hits, you win the game. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell.